Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Thank you folks so much for subscribing and sharing. We are growing. And I want to thank you so much for all of your uh, comments, your prayers. And as you know, we are praying constantly for you folks. My prayer partner and I, we both have cards with all of your name and all of your needs. And we lay them in the palm of our hands throughout the day and pray uh, for all the needs. Go over the names. Also, my two prayer partners get together and pray on Wednesdays. And then I pray with my other prayer partner on Thursday. So we are covering all of you that have written in with your prayer needs. We're covering you in prayers. As I know you folks from your comments are praying for us. And we do have 50 prayer warriors that are going through the names and praying every time they're on the channel. So we believe in prayer. We believe God moves mountains in prayer. Amen. We believe God heals. Amen. And saves your family members. Amen. And that's how we pray. Very interesting word today. Uh, we're all about Jesus Christ on this channel, not the Antichrist. Amen. But today the uh, Holy Spirit gave me a word regarding the Antichrist. And I've been going at this since September of last year. And I don't think I've ever had a word uh, regarding the Antichrist. But God knows what we need to know, when we need to know it. And I'm just a vessel that's going to be obedient to the words that he gives me. Amen. We need to be educated and reminded of what the Lord is showing us. Amen. And I know until the day we're raptured, the church is going to be guessing this person, this person, this person. And you know what? Thank the Lord. We're not going to know who that Antichrist is. We won't be here. Amen. We'll be raptured. And then most of us or many of us, I believe, there will be a time before the treaty is signed with the Antichrist. So there will be a gap in time, I think. And then the Antichrist will sign that covenant with the Jews. And that's when the seven-year tribulation begins. Amen. I believe that's biblical. Um, I, be, I believe that's very clear in the Bible. Amen. But anyway, let me read to you today 1 John chapter 2. And I'm going to read 15 through 24. Uh, just simply because it was hard for me to break up the scripture. So we have a little more scripture reading than normal. So verse 15, uh, second, uh, pardon me, first John, second chapter. Do not love the world, nor the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the boastful pride of life is not from the Father, but from the world. And the world is passing away and also its lust, but the one who does the will of God abides forever. Children, it is the last hours. And just as you've heard that Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrist has arisen. And from this we know it's the last hours. They will be uh, out from us, but they, will not re uh, they are not really of us. And if they have been with us, they would have reminded, remained with us. But they went out in order that they might be shown that they are not of us. That was a tongue twister. I'm sorry. But if you leave an, uh, if you have the anointing of the Holy One, you all know. I have not written to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it and because no lie is of the truth. Who is the liar but the one who denies that Jesus is the Christ, that the Antichrist, the one who denies the Father and Son, whoever denies the Son who does not have the Father, and the one who confesses the Son has the Father also. As for you, let that abide in which you have heard from the beginning. And if you have heard from the beginning, abide in you, and you will also abide in the Son and in the Father. Amen. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So I've just entitled this word, the Antichrist. 
the ch O children of God, I speak with much clarity in this darkness of the days, days I foretold, days written and spoken of, in days gone by by my people. Pardon me. In days gone by, my people demanded a king. In those days, my people ordained a king, a king of men. And that would be King Saul. Amen. He want, God wanted David, but they insisted on King Saul. And King Saul became, started out as a good man, but became a disaster, you know, and died a horrible death. Amen. My son, the king of kings was rejected, received by some from generation unto generation. Now, my lambs, you see the darkness approaching, all that has been written and foretold. The king of the earth are soon to ordain a king, the king of the end, a king that will bring death and destruction upon my lands, the people for only a time. My children, stand strong in my truth, my written word and all that I have spoken. Storm clouds are forming. My people know the end is approaching quickly. The escape is imminent. Amen. The rapture is imminent. Thank you, Lord. I come so quickly, my children, uh, marked and called by my name. You have nothing to fear, my beloved. The king wearing a tarnished crown will soon fall and burn. My people will be safe with my love and in my presence. My children, pray for the lost and dying world. Pray that you will speak to the lost and dying while there is still time. My heart breaks for those that will be lost forever. This king who wears a tarnished crown will speak lies, bring destruction and death upon many uh, an unsuspecting world, yet they have chosen to turn from a loving God, a voice that has been heard across the lands for many generations. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord God. Oh, my lambs, how I love you, how you bless my heart. As you open your hearts to me, I love you so. How you have obeyed my voice and how you understand this dying world around you. Continue to be my steadfast ones. You know I come so quickly to rescue you from the destruction coming so soon, my most beloved, so soon. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. So an interesting word, amen. A king coming, a king of men with a tarnished crown that will bring death and destruction. Let me read it one more time, and then I'm going to pray for you today, church. Oh, children of God, I speak with much clarity in these darkness of days, uh, days I foretold, days written, spoken, in days gone by, uh, by my, by people who demanded a king. In those days, my people ordained a king, a king of men. My son, the king of kings, was rejected, received by some from generations unto generations. Now, my lamb, you see the darkness approaching, all that has been written and foretold. The kings of this earth are soon to ordain a king, the king of the end, a king that will bring death and destruction upon my lands, uh, the people for only a time. My children stand strong on my truth, my written word, all that I have spoken. Storm clouds are forming. My people know the end is approaching quickly. The escape is imminent. Thank you, Lord. The rapture is imminent. I come so quickly, my children, marked and called by my name. You have nothing to fear, my beloved. This king wearing a tarnished crown will soon fall and burn. My people will be safe with my love and in my presence. My children, pray for the lost and dying. Pray that you will speak to the lost, dying while there is still time. My heart breaks for those that will be lost forever. This king who wears a tarnished crown will speak lies, bring destruction and death upon many an unsuspecting world. Yet they have chosen to turn from a loving God a voice that has been heard across the lands for many generations. Oh, my lambs, how I love you. How you bless my heart as you open your hearts to me. I love you so. How you have obeyed my voice. How you have under how you understand this dying world around you. Continue to be my steadfast ones. You know I come so quickly to rescue you from the destruction coming so soon, my most beloved, so soon. 
praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, almighty God. Thank you, Lord, that we are your people, Lord God, that we are waiting, Lord God, for the rapture is imminent, Lord God. And Lord, we know this tarnished king that is to come, we will not have to uh, deal with. We will not know. We will not have to uh, see the devastation that is coming, Lord God. We will meet you in the air, Lord Almighty God. Lord, we seek your presence this day. We seek your grace. We seek your mercy, Lord God. We know your love, Lord God, and we know the confidence, Lord God, that we have in you through your written word, Lord God, through your Holy Spirit, Lord God. We can only give you all glory and honor this day, Lord God, as you are the King of Kings, the Alpha and the Omega. You were with us at the start and you will be with us until we meet you in the air, Lord God. God bless your people. Keep your people. Minister to your people. Save your people, Lord God, while there is still time, Lord God. Save our loved ones while there is still time, Lord God. Cover your people by the blood of the living God and protect them from every dart from the enemy that would try to penetrate their full armor of God this day and time. God bless your people. God be with your people, Lord God, as we give you praise and glory and honor, Lord God, this day and time. In Jesus' name, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, bless your people. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Comfort and heal your people, almighty God. As only you are able to, Lord God, as you love them as no other in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God bless you today. Thank you for subscribing. God be with you today. God heal you today. God speak to you today as only he would. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God bless you, folks. Take care until we meet again. God bless you.